It's customary to finish the everyday science show with a snack, a snack that demonstrates some of the principles we've been talking about. And today, we have a very special snack that uses a lot of physics in its creation, cotton candy. So, what we're going to do, inside here we have a heating element that's heating up sugar, and then it's going to melt, and it's going to come out the sides, but as it's coming out the sides, we're going to make it spin. And so as it spins, it's going to push it out, but as it flies out to the outside, since it's spinning, it's not just going to go straight to the outside, what's it going to do? It's going to go... Oh yeah, yeah, it's going crooked. We get the little swirly thing going on. As we get the swirly thing going on. And here we go. You can go ahead and you can take your little... Oh yeah. And then it's going to swirl and it goes around our little devices. Oh, that's great. You can kind of go ahead and pick it up. Excellent. Go ahead and take out what you have. We're going to go ahead and let that slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are fighting a little bit. <laughs> oh, yum. And so that's, that's the same physics behind what makes the wind work, is what makes the cotton candy. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm. We're taking the top off. And you have to earn your treat today, though. We're going to ask you to answer the quiz question, which we started the show with. What is it that makes the wind blow? We know pressure. pressure. Absolutely. And the pressure makes the air flow from one place to another. And inside there, on the surface of the Earth, as the Earth is spinning, that's what gives us the swirls that causes the extreme winds, which we talked about in the last segment of the show. And that's what gives us the swirls that make the cotton candy, which we're mm. enjoying right now. Yes. Mm. Very nice. It's good eats and physics. <laughs> I couldn't have that myself. <laughs> if you live in a windy part of the world as we do, there's a lot of air moving at pretty high speeds most of the time. That means there's a lot of energy. And we can harvest that energy and use it to pump water or make electricity. We've got a little robot over here and a generator. And if I make some wind with this leaf blower and run my little windmill. <laughs> That's our robot. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. That's why the West has been filled with windmills from the days of the early settlers until the present day. Some of the electricity used to record this show was generated from the subject of this show, the wind. Before we go, I want to say thanks to you two young scientists, Sierra, Samantha. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode. We'll see you next time on Everyday Science.